Hi, I'm Firefighter Red. Up to this, Simon. Lots of color, lots of flavor. That's French, but not good. <laughs> yeah! Look at this, we're cooperating. You guys are working hard. Are you covered in soot? And everything's organic. Let's see how it tastes. Oh my gosh. You gotta ring it. You say it, you gotta ring it. <laughs>
with our pineapple salsa. Pineapple salsa. I want to get all of that. All right, we'll be right back. Funding for Firehouse Kitchen is provided by Hometown Insurance of Long Island. They work for you. Family owned and operated since 1979. Handling all of your insurance needs. They provide dedicated discounts for firefighters for home and insurance. A division of the Weber Group. Barron's Financial. Barron's Financial delivers customized financial solutions. They have over 60 years of providing financial solutions with emphasis towards wealth and family protection. Barron's Financial has been assisting first responders, firemen, and police officers for decades. H2M, architects and engineers. Practical approach, creative results. Serving our communities in which we live and work. Oh, Ready? Sorry, yes. Okay. We're back. You were eating your tips. I didn't I want to interrupt. You were eating your tips. <laughs> All right. So we're going to plate up the, ta the tacos now. We're all set. Like we got I said, these are nice and quick. We got our shrimp. We got our coleslaw. We got our salsa somewhere. Here's our salsa. All right. And we got our chips on the side. All right. Ready? Very nice. So we're going to do a little bit of this coleslaw in the bottom of each one of these. In the bottom of each taco. I like the presentation with the two holding the one up in the middle. Okay. I like that. All right. We're going to throw a couple of shrimp on. Now, sometimes if you have the bigger shrimp, you might not want to put those on straight up. You might want to give them a little bit of a rough chop okay. because otherwise, you know, you're going to take a bite and the whole shrimp is going to fall out of the taco. So, and you want to make sure you take the tails off. Absolutely. Tails, d -bane. That's good uh, advice because you don't have shrimp tails in your tacos. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Next up, we're going to put a little bit of the salsa here right salsa. on top there. We're gonna grab a little bit for our side here. Everybody loves the salsa. This is awesome. Mm -hmm. Throw it down here. Mm -hmm. We're gonna hit it with a little drizzle of the chipotle aioli on there, on each one. This looks fantastic. You know, I'm supposed to be going to dinner with my wife tonight. I don't think that's gonna happen. I don't think that's gonna happen. You might have to fake okay. eat, just smoosh it around on the plate. Yeah. All right, a little bit of chips on the side. And we're good to go. And voila, blackened fish tacos. I almost forgot. You need a little green. A little green. And you're ready. Blackened right. fish tacos. Can I taste? Absolutely. Oh, That's we what we're here for, isn't it? Here's what we're here for. Here's where I make the mess. Can be a cheers? Oh yeah, taco taco cheers. Taco cheers. Taco cheers. Ooh. Little kick. Little kick. Little kick. A little sweetness. A little saltiness. These are fantastic. They're all there. This took like five minutes to make. Oh, absolutely, and that's the best part. And they're not super hot. Summer day. You don't want to eat something too hot. No. It's going to make you sweat. You don't cool, want to weigh it down in the fire truck. This is perfect. It's perfect. They're light, refreshing. Oh, my God. Mm. Unbelievable. John, thank you so much for coming to the Firehouse Kitchen. Thank you for having me. This is Bagdagula here at the beautiful Talkit, New York. Uh, we'll be right back and hear from our sponsors. Our connection to the community is rooted in our humble beginnings. We have a tradition of solving problems and we remain passionate and unrelenting as we embrace the ever-changing challenges of the sustainable built environment. This is our culture. This is the H2M way. H2M Architects and Engineers, building communities since 1933. All right, we are back, still here in this beautiful firehouse in Tatalkit, uh, H2M. Right. Architects and engineers, they designed They it. did an awesome job here. Yes, I have to, yeah. I have to plug them in yeah. once in a while. Uh, I, I would, this right. is an awesome firehouse. Yeah. <laughs> and this is Mark Miller. Mark Miller's a firefighter here in Tatalkit. And EMT. 
And EMT. Holy cow. I'm certified first responder, so you beat that, me. That's great. He beats I got me. my EMT 1981. 1981? 1981. I thought you were younger than me. I, I know. Well, yeah. Really young a, 80, 81, yeah. Uh, 81, I was, ooh, nine. I was nine years old. Yeah. So now I'm going to ask you yeah. how Anyway. That's okay. So. Yeah. <laughs> So, Mark, what are we making today? So, I'm making a, a different chili. I'm making a turkey chili, making it healthier. Okay. And so, uh, I buy the chili locally in store, so it's locally produced here. Mm -hmm. And then organic beans and organic oil, and it, organic as much as I can. And firemen love chili. That's like oh, the absolutely love it. signature yeah. meal of the day. Oh, for chili. sure. So, All right, so what's first? So, it's first, we're going to put the onions and the garlic into, this, into my cast iron. So, I cook only in cast iron. Okay. Uh, because I find it, it the smell, the resin, it gets. Uh, Food tastes better. Everything is cooked yeah. better in cast iron. No, I love cast iron. And so I got rid of all. So we're gonna, we're gonna call you the Iron Man. We've that, got the iron. That sounds cast good. iron, cast iron. Enamel cast iron, regular cast iron, and awesome. so that we'll use that for the turkey. So I like to cook the meat separate, uh, so this way it gets cooked thoroughly, and then I add it to the pot. So which one, let's go first. So the onions and the garlic we'll put in this pot here. We're gonna put this one. All right. Yeah. Very nice. So some garlic. How many cloves is that? Just one uh, clove? Yeah, uh, two cloves of garlic. Two cloves of garlic. And then normally I'll be using four onions. Four onions. Right. Very nice. And then I, I saute it until it gets nice golden. Okay. And, and then once it gets golden, then I'll, I'll turn it off and make it low. Mm -hmm. And then I'll saute everything else into it. Now, grandma taught you how to cook, right? Yeah, my grandma taught me how to cook. Yeah, back when I was like a little... Little kid, and I was like eight or nine years old. I used to cook with her in the kitchen in the Bronx. In the Bronx? In the Bronx, yeah. Uh, I worked in the Bronx. I worked uh, in Pelham, Pelham Bay, uh, by Jacoby Hospital. Uh, 177th Street in the Grand Conquest. Grand Conquest, yep. Yeah, right. I, I used to walk to Yankee Stadium. Oh, wow. Yeah. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, saw so Mickey Mantle playing in the outfield. Did you really? Oh, yeah. Yes. Cow. I kind of aged myself right there. There you go, that's it. Yeah. That's it. So while this is cooking, let's see. Because Mickey Mantle, he's a baseball player, right? Yeah. I know. I know. Yeah. <laughs> but you know, only a few years ago, my wife, yeah, we, my wife and I, we've been together since 1978. We've mm. married in 82, but only, I told her I was a Yankee fan like about four or five years ago because mm. she and her brothers were Met fans. My whole family's die hard Met fans. Yeah, I'm, well, I'm, I'm baseball. I'm, I like baseball. I like Aaron Judge. Yeah. I like, you know, I like, uh, I like everybody. You know, it's kind of yeah. cool. So it's really good. All right, so while this is sauteing, we'll put the turkey meat into the pan. All right. There we go. Okay. Pan sizzle. Yep. Now, because turkey has a different flavor than uh, than beef, mm -hmm. I, I so I add seasoning to the turkey meat in addition to adding it to to the chili. Okay. So you know, just a little bit of salt. Yeah. Okay. Give it, give it a little bit of uh, salt. Yeah. A little bit of pepper. And then a little bit of chili powder. A little bit of chili. Yeah. And this way, it it, it makes it taste better. And then you, you could do it all in one pot if you wanted to, but I found over the years, I, I'm also multitasking at the same time. Okay. Yeah, there's, there's, it's cooking. And then once it goes into the pot, you know, you add the chili beans and the, and the tomato sauce, you just let it simmer for 90 minutes to two hours. Usually the next day is better, because if it goes in the refrigerator, everything gets solid and you heat it up. That's yeah. when, oh, that's when I, like, I love chili the next day. That's oh, the best yeah. thing. That's when all the, all the flavors come together. Yeah. All right, so we're gonna put this all into a big pot, and we'll be right back. Funding for Firehouse Kitchen is provided by Hometown Insurance of Long Island. They work for you. Family owned and operated since 1979. Handling all of your insurance needs. They provide dedicated discounts for firefighters for home and insurance. A division of the Weber Group. Barron's Financial. Barron's Financial delivers customized financial solutions. They have over 60 years of providing financial solutions with emphasis towards wealth and family protection. Barron's Financial has been assisting first responders, firemen, and police officers for decades. H2M, architects and engineers. Practical approach, creative results. Serving our communities in which we live and work. All right. All right, this is frying up now. Okay. We're gonna add all this stuff together. Holy cow. Are we ready yet? Yeah, it looks great. Looks great. Great job on that, yeah. So we're gonna add it to the pot. Thank you. So I did a good job. <laughs> all right. And as you know, with cast iron, the pots are very hot. Yes, you got it, yeah. So that's I've right. made that mistake many times on this yeah, show. Yeah. I grab something, oh, and try not to you know, say anything. Awesome. 
Awesome. Perfect. And so now we have the kidney beans. I, I, use the, I use the dark beans. Uh, you can make this vegetarian if you want. Just substance, instead of doing the turkey, just using, you know, d double the beans on it. And then the chili well, powder. You know what they say about vegetarian. Yeah. Boring. Mm -hmm. Yeah, oh, for sure. I'm uh, just kidding. Joe, my camera guy's a vegetarian, so mm -hmm. I'm always okay. busted on it. So add in, the, add in the chili powder. Yeah, a little more salt and pepper. It's great. Yeah. And then we just let it simmer for about 90 minutes or so uh, to get the flavors. You, you know, the best way to have this is you cook it the day before and you have it tomorrow. Because this way, it gets, when you put it in the refrigerator, all the flavors melt together. And, and then that's the best way to do it. So uh, now we just need the cover. It's going to kill this big boy up. Bam. And that's it. And then we come back. Uh, all right. Be ready. So we're going we're gonna to plate this bad boy. Well, we're gonna, an hour and a half. Right. You can show me this beautiful firehouse. Absolutely. Take a tour. Gorgeous firehouse that H2M architects and engineers designed. Uh. All right. And it's, uh, I already got the tour before. It's like three floors, it's got wooden ceilings. It's got, it's, it's, I feel like I'm in like, like Aspen in uh, a firehouse. It's, yeah. Yeah, yeah. It, uh, I've been a member here to shy 20 years. And so we've been watching the architect plans for many years. And for it to come to fruition, it is, it's fabulous. Fantastic. It's awesome. So, uh, I, so I have to say, yeah, an H2M architects. Yeah, they're, they're definitely awesome. Yeah. All right, good. <laughs> All right, we'll be right back. And now our chili's done. Chili's done. All right. uh, you know, also, also uh, we added a, a box of tomato sauce into here. Okay. And it kind of blends into it. And then a little bit of apple cider vinegar. At the very end? At the very apple end. Cider apple cider vinegar. Apple cider vinegar. And then you just stir it up. It just adds that extra flavoring to it. Um, and you know, I don't make it super super spicy, but it, it's really, I, I think it's awesome. All right. So, and yes, yeah. Uh, now I do a shot of apple cider vinegar every day because it's very good for you. Yeah. Wow. And we can turn that off for now. Bon My appetit. goodness, bon appetit. Bon appetit. Click. There we go. Now, I've won many yeah. chili contests in my day. Um, wow. Now you got the heat. This is delicious. Holy cow. Yeah. At, you know, like I mentioned, I had a jalapeno pepper, and I saute it first. And so after you've eaten it, the jalapeno pepper just kicks in at the end. Mm, very am. This is absolutely delicious, Mark. Thank you. Mm. So I, make I love the, the turkey. Oh, awesome. yeah. It, it's wow. very mild with it. I, I've also done it with the uh, ground chicken. Mm-hmm. So you can do it with any type of ground beef. Yeah, I, think well, I, have, I think I haven't done yet. It was on, on the uh, to-do list to do it with venison. Everyone's talking about venison chili. Oh, All yeah. right, so next time you're on, we'll do venison. Venison, sounds that good. That sounds good? Absolutely. All right, Mark, you definitely you. come on every time. Sure, thank you. To find out more about Firehouse Kitchen, go to firehousekitchenshow.com. To find out how you can sponsor, or you can have your firehouse, your firehouse, maybe an H2M firehouse, engineer, architects and engineers, maybe they can yep. come on. All right, I just said them again, it's like five sure. times this episode, I said, well, it's I good. Mean, they are my sponsors, yeah. so it's good, I have you to, have, you have to do it. it. Yeah. All right, good, I'm joking. Anyway, Mark, thank you so much for coming on. It was a pleasure, awesome, again, awesome thank you very much. And we will see you next time on... Firehouse Kitchen. Oh, we gotta say a little while now. Okay. And we'll see you next time on... Firehouse Kitchen. All right! All right, good. You know, it was, he was, he was just so taken back by his chili yeah. and the beautiful design from H2M. And Funding for Firehouse Kitchen is provided by Hometown Insurance of Long Island. They work for you. Family owned and operated since 1979. Handling all of your insurance needs. They provide dedicated discounts for firefighters for home and insurance, a division of the Weber Group. Barron's Financial. Barron's Financial delivers customized financial solutions. They have over 60 years of providing financial solutions with emphasis towards wealth and family protection. Barron's Financial has been assisting first responders, firemen, and police officers for decades. H2M, architects and engineers. Practical approach, creative results. Serving our communities in which we live and work. 
Al Licata of the Setauket Fire Department. Sounds like a la carte. It is. So, is that anything from your wife? You're like, uh, you want an a la carte? Sure. There you go. A la carte. <laughs> <laughs> a la carte. So Al, you're a Setauket firefighter. What are we making today? Today we're going to be making some seafood portobello mushrooms with um, some roasted garlic mashed potatoes. Oh, I make very good garlic mashed potatoes. We'll have to we'll test have to it. <laughs> well, when I was working on the FDNY, we used to call it five stick. I used to put five, five sticks on it. It's 13 uh, guys. I know. Yep. It's a half stick of man. That's how we looked at it. Yep. And, that's uh, like, that's way it is in my house. That's how it five is. Five sticks of butter. Five <laughs> sticks of butter, yeah. And they used to call it like heart attack, heart attack, uh, heart attack measurement. Cooney's heart attack measurement. All right, so what's first things first? Okay, first thing we're going to do is get some butter, some butter melted down. Turn okay. that up. And just make sure we get a little olive oil in there too. A little olive sure oil. Get a little flavor of the olive oil. And uh, we'll drop some of the, uh, not all of it, but uh, like half the uh, bowl of uh, peppers and onions. I got yellow peppers, or, I'm sorry, orange peppers, red peppers, and onions. And we'll just throw a couple of handfuls in there. And let that get, let that saute up nice yeah, and little bit. Now, where did you get this recipe from? This recipe is something that I kind of come up with, uh, kind of at home and with my brother. Uh, my wife, she loves stuffed shrimp, so we started making stuffed shrimp. She makes, she was making stuffed mushrooms, doing seafood, and we kind of evolved around that. And my brother, who's an awesome cook, my wife's an amazing cook. So in our house, we just kind of evolved things, mm -hmm. and uh, I just figured, let me do this. Came up with it. I started out doing sausage instead of seafood. Mm -hmm. I'm like. Hell, I knew you liked seafood. I like so, seafood. I like the seafood, I like to eat food. There we go. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here we go. How's that? That's good. Beautiful. Move this little thing around. Right, there you want a little spatula? Good. And we'll just render this down a little bit. All right, you know what? It's going to cook up a little bit. We'll be right back. Uh, we're going to hear from one of our sponsors. All right, alicata, smells delicious. Our uh, seafood stuffed mushrooms, I love it. All right, so what is next? Okay, so what we're gonna do now is we'll throw in the uh, the breadcrumbs. Okay. Start get, actually, we'll make it easy. We'll just dump this into the big mixing bowl. Al gave me the greatest answer before. I said, how many breadcrumbs are you, are you using? <laughs> Al goes, I don't measure my breadcrumbs, he says. Hey, you don't measure anything. You don't measure anything, <laughs> everything just goes in. So then, We'll just add the breadcrumbs, give it a thicken, thicken it up a little bit. Nice. And these are Italian seasoned breadcrumbs, right? Italian seasoned breadcrumbs. All right. We'll, uh, then we'll add the seafood in. So it's still hot, it'll give it a, it'll start to kind of heat the, uh, the seafood up a little bit so it's mm -hmm. sticks a little bit better. raw and it'll stick a little bit better. All right, and now we're gonna throw a couple of eggs in there. Okay. Just to get it, make it bind. And uh, then we should be, we could throw in the uh, the bacon. Oh, you should throw in the bacon, I'll get the eggs. All right. Don't go crazy. Two. I'll get the eggs. How many eggs? Two eggs out. Uh, uh, one, one egg should be good in the uh, cooler. In the cooler. Oh. And add a little bit of cheese. I guess everybody loves cheese. All right. I'm looking for eggs. That's the cooler. Yep. <laughs> this is an unscripted show. Here we go. <laughs> now, now you got the Italian way of doing it one-handed. Oh, there it is. Of course. Yeah, I do that and it goes all over the place. It goes all over my wrist. It goes everywhere. <sighs> nice. And the eggs bring everything together. That's it. And here we go. It's got to be with the hands. Got to be with the hands. The only way to get it mixed. That's it. So from here we will pack pack the caps. We're gonna pack the caps. Here we go. I'll, I'll bring the tray over sure, here. Sure, sure. So everyone can see. Nice pack. good portion. Look at that! Holy cow! Doesn't have to be pretty as long as it tastes good. That's all. That's it. But I thought. Uh, the present that we the eat with our eyes. At, yeah, 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 wow. at the end. At the end. When it's, everything's gone. That's how you know it's good. <laughs> yeah. When everything's when gone. Then you gotta open your pants because you're so full. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's Thanksgiving in the Cooney house. Oh. We're, all, we're all sitting on the couch. Oh. 
taking a nap. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> All right, now how long are these bad boys going in the oven for? Okay, we'll put them in for about uh, 15 minutes. All right, so and we're gonna pop these in the oven, and uh, then we'll be right back. Now, there's nothing like sitting on the back of a fire truck in the summertime with the doors open. Absolutely. Enjoying delicious stuff, seafood, mushrooms with garlic, <laughs> mashed potatoes. Now, tell me about your mashed potatoes. Mashed potatoes, you roast the garlic, nice and brown, throw that in there. Couple of sticks of butter, couple of seasonings. It's all good. Mix it up. Couple of sticks of butter. That's what I like. Yeah, yeah I like go. that five stick. Eh? All right, let's try this. All right, I'm gonna try, I'm gonna try the mashed potatoes first because I love mashed potatoes. And let's see if this Italian man can do it like an Irishman. <laughs> wow. Oh yeah. Up there. Huh? That's really good. Thank you. Holy cow! It's creamy. A little garlicky? Mm-hmm. Little garlic. Mm. Love it. All right. Now, the time we've all been waiting for. My stuffed seafood portobello mushroom. Here we go. Very good. Not too shabby? Oh, man. Mmm. <laughs> it tastes better than a crab cake in, in Maryland. All right, better than crab cakes in Maryland. This is Thank unbelievable. You. I appreciate that. Mm. The Maryland fire department's gonna call me later. <laughs> <laughs> we want to rematch. Mm. This is spectacular. Thank you. Mm. Perfect. Al, I had a great time. So, so talk it is some town. Firehouse is gorgeous. All you guys you work with and, and, and volunteer with, these guys, everyone's been so good. I had a fantastic time here. So did I. Mm. To find out more about Firehouse Kitchen, go to firehousekitchenshow.com. If you want to come on Firehouse Kitchen or have your firehouse on Firehouse Kitchen, go to firehousekitchenshow.com. Facebook, Instagram, everything. Look us up. Get our recipes. The works. Al, unbelievable. Thank you very much. I am going to be, I'm, I'm going to finish this right now. <laughs> and we will see you next time on... Firehouse Kitchen. All right. All right. I, I like that little firehouse <laughs> kitchen. Someone's like, game go. Firehouse <laughs> Kitchen. I love it. That's perfect. I got a voice uh, for radio. There you go. I love it. I love it. <laughs> mm.